Well, how you guys doing? This is Mark. You know me from my series, How to Pay Off Your Car Loan in 36 Months Without Giving Up Starbucks or Being Cheap. And today I'm just going to hit you with my new series I talked about when to hire a handyman. If you looked at the last one, you have to decide when you want to hire a handyman. I've owned two duplexes, which means that are those are like apartment housing things with like two door two are uh, individual apartments same as an apartment building but instead of being 100 it's just two so i've owned two duplexes i've owned one four bedroom two bath house on like a make an acre and a half and i've had like when it's such a big property and it's in yucca valley in the desert area so you have sprinklers and then you're like almost half a mile away from the cutoff source from the water to the house so that creates its own share of issues and then I've also owned the Rota House, 385 East 116th Place in the hood where my grandmother lived. And that house was built back in probably 1940, 1950. And I've got rid of it in about 2016, 2015. So that house had been around for 50 years. Now you could just imagine how, what, I, what I had to deal with. Termites, I mean, under the house, the house was kind of... It's been it's like back in the old days you used to put the houses on the stilts so they never put the houses on the foundation and there was a big sinkhole that had to be filled with gravel and rock and then after that was filled the house the um it only had one heater and then it only had like the older faucets the bathroom it's like there's no type of tile in the bathroom so and I had to sell that as a rental. And before I could, I had to sell it as an investment. And before I could sell it as an investment, I had to deal with the city of Los Angeles because they started like one in you, in the old days, the antennas and telephone poles used to run from actual physical pole to the house. So I had like lines for the power lines from telephones running to my grandmother's roof. And I had to get this little antenna type thing that used to have to lift the wires up because they didn't want the wires going through the trees. So that was my project I had to work on. So now I'm telling you about when to get a handyman. Okay, I own the, okay, let's say for example, I sold my two bedroom, four bedroom, two bedroom house, and four bedroom, two bath house in Yucca Valley for 219, I bought it for 225. Before I could sell it, you know, you try to like, okay, before the realtor comes by, I'm going to try to do all these repairs myself and try to save money. Well, the mistake I made was I thought that the roof, I thought that a leak and I thought my roof was leaking when it rained because there were water spots. But what it turned out to be was my sprinkler line was leaking. So I made the mistake of actually going on the roof myself and then you thought, okay, I'll be in this house forever because like I thought about my grandmother who owned her house for 40 months, 40 years, 40 years or something. So I was like, I put the tar and all type of stuff there. So lo and behold, I have the person come out to the house. The realtor comes out to the house, takes a look at the house and says, what's wrong with your roof? The roof, every time someone comes by, they think the roof is leaking. So rule number one, when you want to decide whether you can, whether you want to hire a handyman or not, Make sure that once the project is done, it looks like there was never any type of damage. Because of that, I lost about an extra, another four or five hundred dollars off the price of the house because someone had to go up there and clean up the mess I made to look good. So there's like when you fire hire a handyman, there's like I think there's but I, I broke it down to three types. There's a minor task like hey, there's a leaking faucet. Do you want to fix it? Because if you fix it, you can either fix it right or you can fix it wrong. No one will see because it's only going to be the faucet and then you can have the leak of water. Worst case, you can cut the water off to the faucet and then you're done. So that's like a job you can do on your own. You can go always go, go to Home Depot, buy one of those fix-it books, try it out. If you can't get it done, then you actually go hire a plumber he comes in for a hundred dollars you've wasted twenty dollars but you can carry around that little book that you think you can fix all the repairs so you have the minor repairs that you can do that no one sees that's number one number two would be like i had the spreaking the water leaking in the, my attic that's a job you hire a handyman you basically when you have any type of plumbing job that involves digging 
and it not and actually people will actually see it so hire a handyman because my mistake was I had the actual physical leaking wire that was up in the ceiling and it's pressurized and I could not fix I didn't realize you have to turn off the pressure to the house cut off to the water to the house reset the line let the line see, see what I mean just remember whenever you're gonna repair something that requires more than like maybe four or five things consider getting a handyman and then my last big, big major repair I had was when I was at Miss Diggs's house was there's a problem with the electrical outlet fire. So if it comes to anything related to fire and electricity, unless you're changing a fuse or a light bulb, I recommend getting a specialist because even if you do it right, there may be some code issues or some other stuff that comes along. So repair number one is a repair that no one will ever see. If it's fixed, it's fixed. If it's not fixed, no one will ever know. Repair number two will be like my roof. If you're going to do something where once you're done, it's going to be visible to everyone, consider getting a specialist. Number three, I would get a handyman when it comes to electricity, anything that would potentially start a fire. Because even if you do fix it right and you sell your house in the future, someone will come along, double check it, and if it's not correct, you're going to lose off, lose off on the value of your house. So I know some of you are thinking, oh, I'm going to go on YouTube and learn how to do this. I was at just driving around yesterday, city of Banning. There's like five cars in front of the house. Same as like in uh, Cabazon, five or six cars in front of the house, which means that at least, gives you at least five extra people in the house, a two bedroom house. And you just imagine the damage that those five people are doing. And do you really think, once you get, also I would do a repair, when you have more than the, the approved number of people living in your facility you need to get some specialists but the reason you basically hire a handyman is you want a handyman just to help you either keep just keep up appearance let them do all the work and if you want you can clean up after them so that's my tips on hiring a handyman for the day and it's all i can think of right now when it comes to handyman just Make sure, like how, I, like you saw my example with the roof, how I made the roof was probably done properly, but it looked so messy that they said, hey, we want some money back. So anything that you can do, like people can question and they can physically see it. And you know how when people, when they try to consider stuff, especially in this social media age. And if you read the book and you, like, you can read the book and if it takes more than like five steps for you to do something and it's gonna be visible to other people, I recommend you don't do it. And anything the plumbing, you can do it because even if someone sees it, you can like come someone come in behind you and fix it for fifty or sixty bucks. So let me know is this helping you? Like come on, send me some of your questions on when you want a plumber, when you shouldn't do a plumber, when you want to hire a man. And then tomorrow I'll talk a little bit about when to pay a contractor and when not to pay a contractor.